Jason here from Matthews Tire, here for our Matthews Tire Tech Minutes. Thanks for joining us. Uh, today we're going to be talking about all season tires versus winter tires. Now, I have an all season tire and a winter tire here. Yes, they're all black, round, have a hole in the middle. But, main difference is the rubber compounding, the amount of siping, the tread design. Those are all big differences on what we have for winter tires and all season tires. You see here on our all season tire, this does have an asymmetric tread design. This side's a little different than this side here. These cuts are called sipes. That's what gives us our biting edges, okay? So now we move on to our winter tires. We have a directional one and an asymmetric one here. And you notice that there's a lot more cuts in these tires, sipes. That's what gives us our biting edges, our actual traction in the snow, ice, wet, slush, all that stuff. Another big difference with uh, all season tires and winter tires is the rubber compounding. Uh, they're optimized to be run at lower temperatures. Your winter tires are optimized to be run at 45 degrees Fahrenheit and below, whereas your all season tires, that's where they start to drop off in their performance. Likewise, it's flipped. 45 degrees and up, your all season tires are optimized better for that. Your winter tires, you're going to have issues with traction and they're going to wear out much faster. Um, so going back to the tires here, we do have a directional tread design tire. These go on one side of the car and they stay on that side of the car. You still rotate them, but they just go back and forth. This tire is an asymmetric tread design, so you can actually rotate these just like you rotate your normal all season tires. Thanks for checking out our Matthews Tire Tech Minute. We'll keep you rolling.